What are we to make of his comments today? Well, there's, there's two things, right? There's the business aspect of it, and then there's his discussion of the rocket itself. As far as the business impact, I mean, as Yang talked about, uh, there's a lot of money out there to be made launching these government equipment, government satellites, and the U.S. needs or demands their own way to do this. They don't want to be sending stuff that obviously military satellites going up in Russia is not going to happen. It wasn't going to happen before, and it's certainly not going to happen now given the state of U.S. and Russian relations. And so there's a very big business there that, that uh, uh, Musk's company, SpaceX, and a few others are going after. Um, and then the, you get to the cool stuff, right? The, <laughs> the part about the, the way he's trying to redesign these rockets and apply uh, newer technologies that just haven't been applied to the space industry uh, lately, if, if ever. What are those newer technologies? Well, a lot of them about material science and advances in material science that have been made since you know the 1960s. Yeah. Um, a lot of obviously this this notion of a reusable rocket. Uh, it's it's a difficult thing to pull off, not just because it's difficult, but because the the the, the trade-offs here. You, of course, you need more propellant in the in the rocket to get it to fire upon re-entry. Well, that means less room for the satellite it's, satellites itself, which means less revenue for the business. So while the cost of the actual uh, thing might go down because you're not replacing it, you're also talking about lower revenue. So I, I'm always a skeptic with Elon Musk when it comes to the numbers. But there's something Thelonious Monk said. The only cats worth anything are the cats who take chances. <laughs> and I think that's the thing we like about Elon and the, these things that he comes up with. He may not be as cool as Monk, but these ideas of an electric car, of, of a rocket, of, of, you know, of the things that he's going after seem like really cool, neat ideas. All right, Corey Johnson, finding a way to weave Elon Musk and Thelonious Monk. You know if I can get Monk involved in the show in any way, I'm going to do it. Very nicely done. <laughs> the stock we should mention, by the way, down 4% at this hour.